Luego de ocho horas de intenso viaje sobrevolando el océano Atlántico y atravesando la tormenta Nicole, pudimos averiguar, indagar y preguntar a los protagonistas de todas las operaciones científicas que funcionan y que operan allí, en este poderoso laboratorio volador. Uh, I understand, Mr. Dugan, that you are like the scientific brain in this, in this aircraft. Can you please tell us a little bit about your role in this mission? Sure. So what we're doing is we're supporting the Hurricane Center. The Hurricane Center wants to know where is the storm going to go and how strong is it going to be and what's it going to look like when it gets there. It's not quite a hurricane yet, but it looks like all the forecasts are really heading that way. So my job today was help to de design the flight pattern. So we've got this, we went right through the center of the storm earlier, and now we're doing kind of a lawnmower. So now we're climbing much higher, and we're collecting observations higher in the atmosphere. So we want to try to get a bigger picture look of what's going on right now. And we'll continue that lawnmower for the next hour or two as we're flying. In your particular uh, uh, experience, how many hurricanes have you been chasing so far? I've flown into about 50 hurricanes or so, um, wow. into the eye of about 75, 75 different times. So my first flight was about 25 years ago. So every storm's a little bit different. And what makes you come back again and again to chase these hurricanes? I think it's, you know, this flight is really what makes a hurricane tick. Why is it going where it's going? Why is it going to strengthen like the forecast is saying? So that's what keeps you coming back is this unanswered question. You know, Mother Nature is pretty complicated. So we try to figure out a little bit of some of those answers that are being asked. But every time there's something new to learn. What's this mission about? What's the objective of this particular mission? The overall objective of this mission is to collect data in the storm environment uh, using our tail Doppler radar, the TDR, and the drop wind sons that we release from the airplane uh, throughout the storm, and uh, process them on process those data on the aircraft, and then send it off through our SATCOM to the Environmental Modeling Center. They receive it, and they use this data to initialize the global models. Uh, to help them, uh, you know, prepare, uh, you know, generate a better solution for the model forecast. The, the overall idea is the, the more accurate the data that we can put into the models, the better, better the forecast will be that comes out. Mr. Holmes, with all this technology that we have nowadays, uh, when do you think possible that these uh, hurricane chase missions, you know, put in the life uh, of, of the risk of so many Today we are 16, 18 uh, people on board. Do you think at some point technology, uh, I don't know, drones can be developed or maybe replace the human factor? I, we're definitely, that's where we want to go. I don't think you'll find anybody on this crew that, you know, aches or desires to fly through hurricanes. I mean, we do it because we know it adds value and uh, this crew is just We recruit and retain people that are especially gifted in their particular discipline. Este es un informe de Ismael Triviño. Sigan ustedes en los estudios.